of signatures, verify the signatures by the Board of Elections, special election, the two questions, do you want to recall? If yes, who do you want to replace? And then ultimately the person that gets the majority is going to win. Go ahead, touch the house. Here's your chance, Jose's group. Come on, John Oliver. Come on, Oliverettes. Y'all can do this. Pick a category. Chapter two for four points. Chapter two for four. I think we've already had this. Go ahead and, and make it make it black. Go ahead, click it. Okay, pick me another one. Uh, chapter one, four points. Chapter one for four. Process of wow, Kelsey, what's going on? <laughs> Kelsey, make sure that they turn colors. Pick me another one, Jose. We might need to take away points from Kelsey, okay? <laughs> Chapter one, three points. Chapter one for three. List all you can. Click it. Fractions. Yeah, yeah, Kelsey, yeah. what's going on? I know, you're not doing anything. That's what I'm saying. Pick yeah, me one, Jose. Wait, 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 you have to so click the number. You, you so can't click the box. You have to click the actual number. Zoom in on Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, so wait, so click the number. Right there, like the yellow thing. There it did. Okay, then, it went that time. And then okay. go through. So click, and then touch the house. Okay, now we got it. So pick me one more, Jose. Uh, chapter two, three points. Chapter two for three. List all you can. Let's see. Articles in the Constitution. First hand I see. What are the articles in the Constitution? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Sam. Article eight, this is free supreme clause. Article eight? Yeah, in the federal court, passes a law, and if it is... Unconstitutional, something like that? Or are we talking about the federal rights? Oh. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Article 8. Go ahead. <laughs> article, you would just like read through everything? Give me what you what we've talked about. Article 1, the legislative Article branch. 1 deals with the legislative branch. 1, 2, 3. The Article 2 is the executive Executive, branch. 1, 2, 3. Uh, article 3 is the judiciary. 1, 2, 3. We haven't talked about Article 4. What's Article 5? Uh, amendments. Amendments. What's Article 6? Uh, debt, supremacy, and ownership. Supremacy clause. Yeah, you can tell somebody paid attention and somebody's just reading it off. And what's Article 7? Uh, ratification. Ratification Woo! of the Constitution. Go ahead. Touch the house. Pick me a category. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, federalism 3. Federalism for 3. List all you can. Click it. The Mann Act. Okay, y'all have it first, y'all have it second. So it's the law that if a man takes a woman across state borders with um, wrong intentions. Wrong intentions? Or immoral. Immoral, immoral intentions. One, two, three. It's controversial because uh, certain groups could claim that acts are immoral while other groups would say that they're not. Before we get into that, what was? why was this passed? Uh, to, for like... Prostitution purposes. Prostitution. Prostitution and kidnapping. This was actually designed to stop the old white slave trade. So if a man crossed state lines with a woman with immoral purposes in mind, then the idea would be is that they would face heightened or higher federal punishments. Okay, what's the controversy in today's world? That like, like church groups, religious groups would think that immoral means something else. And so like, give me an example. Uh, like, you know, having Sex. intercourse yeah. with someone you're not married to. How does that relate to the Mann Act, though? Uh, because, because that could be considered immoral acts to some religious groups. So, so if somebody just goes and kicks it when they get home from school today, that's the Mann Act? No, but you'd have to cross the state, state line. line yeah. Oh, ah, go ahead. You travel with your girlfriend or significant other and you're not married, you go across state lines? Yeah, when I had started talking to y'all the other day, I had mentioned about going to the beach, and if you went to an out-of-state beach or an in-state beach, and I had mentioned to you, are you just going for a few days? Are you going for a long time? What the sleeping arrangements are? And I wasn't trying to be ratchet, mostly. But, but if you go back and you, you look at this, if you were, I'm not saying that the federal government is looking for this. But I'm saying that when law enforcement, uh, you know, accosts you, ultimately they're going to look for everything that they can get. So believe it or not, in some places that could be considered immoral, which would subject you to federal penalty. Go ahead. I mean, this could also be controversial today because of like uh, a man ha taking a woman instead of like a woman 
you know. Yeah, and it used to be that y'all women were delicate flowers. I'm looking at men, I'm sorry. All y'all women were delicate flowers, needed to be protected by the law. And, and nowadays, if a man crosses state lines with a woman, or if a woman crosses state lines with another woman, or a man with another man with immoral purposes in mind, then ultimately that could bring you up as a man act violation too. Do you remember the guy in modern times that got busted for this? Got threatened with this by, go ahead, Nathan. It was. It was Governor Spitzer. Yeah, now we're in the positive. What was it that Governor Spitzer did? And you can take second place from John Oliver. <laughs> Third place from John Oliver. He did what? He patronized and elite escort service for Armand Bruce Club Gaffey. Wow. He actually did reach out to a prostitute. One, two, three, four. I think it was five. He did reach out to a prostitute on this. And, and how did this relate to the man act? Crossed into D.C. with this woman. Was he convicted with the Man Act? Five, no, four. What did he do? He, he did. He resigned from being the governor. One, two, three, four, five. Resigned from being the governor, and when he resigned, all of the Man Act stuff went away. Spitzer was somebody that rose to power politically by going after people and being a whistleblower. So when they had the chance, people went after and they whistled blowed, whistle blew him, you get the idea. So uh, anyway, let me move on from that. Go ahead, touch the house. Pick me a category as y'all try and solidify second, third place. Articles for three. Examples of two out of three. I mentioned to y'all the idea that if something wanted to be done, normally you typically need two of the three branches working together. Go ahead. So like Medicare, you need two out of three. Uh, like branches to make it like uh, their per like permanently. You Argo. need two out of three votes to override the president's veto, and you need two thirds of the votes to get something done. Yeah, we've already talked about those though. We're talking about separation of powers and checks and balances. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was the saying, examples I was of two out of three because yeah. I read it right off that page. Five. So you, you, four. You talk. I remember you talking about like medic three. Like Medicare and saying that you needed. Two. Two out of three of the. Oh, one. Go ahead, Blair. Oh, I know. Two out of three of the branches of government, or to do something. So like what? So if, if, for instance, uh, the Supreme Court was going to do judicial review and say this is unconstitutional, oh, then the Congress could go ahead and change the they change the Constitution, and the president would well, he would accept it. Here. I guess, but there were some better examples straight from that one article. What were those examples? Four, three. Congress and President have to work together to pass a law. Go, go ahead. Okay, that, that's an easy way to get points. Okay, I, 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 okay. Uh, Congress, Congress and President have to work together to declare war, executive prosecution, judicial conviction to imprison somebody. Make sure that you take a look at that Assault on Powers article. Go ahead, um, touch the, the click it, I'm sorry. Uh, Congress and President for war, President and court searches or prosecutions. Touch the House. Pick me a category. You can continue to solidify third place. Uh, articles for uh, two. Articles for two. List all you can. Click it. Oklahoma abortion laws. Y'all have it first. First hand I see. You'll have it next. You'll have it third, John Oliver. Go ahead, Sam. So they talk about something about... Um, the two laws at Oklahoma and how this um, facility about the abortion, the whole situation of the abortion. So if a woman wants to get an abortion in Oklahoma. They have to see the, um, the ultrasound. They have to see the ultrasound. Oklahoma passed a law, I'll give you two. Oklahoma passed a law that said that if you wanted to get an abortion, you had to see an ultrasound. And what would the doctor point out? Um, they were actually going around the ultrasound. What in the ultrasound? Five. The fetus. It's a what in the fetus? Four. What's that? If it's a boy or a girl. Three. Go ahead, Nathan. Organs. organs. Anything else? Um. Who's got it next? Us. We do. You we did us. Okay, go. Heartbeat. Heartbeat was one of the other things. Heartbeat, limbs, organs. What's the second law? Five. Oh, oh, um, so Four. Uh, you can't go across the state. No, no, you can't. Uh, no, no, it's on all the things. Yeah, zoom in. Now you got, you got it. You're going to have it. Three. You can't let them know if something's wrong with them. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Who can't let them go? The doctor the can't doctor let them go. Doctors, the doctors are not obligated to tell if there is a problem <laughs> with the fetus. And if you remember on this with that first law, Oklahoma was saying, we want to inform you. And then in the second law, they are completely yeah. not giving you anything at all. And, and the word that we had used in a lot of the classes or the words was guilt tripped. It's almost like they were guilt tripping women out of trying to get an abortion. But then if you'll recall on this as well, um, going back on this, Oklahoma is saying if you look at a picture, a picture is going to inform you better than anything that anybody would say. So they were kind of really talking out of both sides of their mouth with these two laws. Um, let's stop there. Go ahead, touch the house. Um, open up articles for one. Uh, list all you can. Click it. Um, zero tolerance policy with New Jersey guns. Go ahead and touch the house really quick. Um, federalism for one. First state to give women the right to vote. New York. Wyoming. Wyoming. First state to give 18-year-olds the right Georgia. to vote. Georgia. 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 First state, Nebraska, <laughs> with the Una, uh, well, the Una Well, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kelsey's not really doing anything today. Touch the house. <laughs> Federalism for two. Yeah, down the little, yeah. Article 6 of the Constitution was Supremacy Clause. Go ahead and click it. And then um, one for Constitution, I think. Click it. Virginia, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Make sure that you're comfortable with big state, little state, proportional, equal representation, and then the Connecticut Compromise was, was both. Go ahead. You can shut it down now.